Well, how did you meet him in the first place? How did you hear of him? I think a brother-in-law of mine met Rab, uh, heard about Rabbi Kimmel in an advertisement, or somebody told him about it. And the joy of finding someone on I and 29th Street in Brooklyn, when we know there are hidden tzaddikim all around, and to find this, and my wife went and she came back, and my wife wasn't someone who goes to these type of uh, Rabbanim. And when she came back, she was so mispiled that uh, she said, you have to go. So that's pretty good. You have to be very good. Very good first impression. Yeah. Well, it's more than a first impression. He, he, open, he touches the heart, he opens it, and he, he helps you grow. He can't do more. And that's on the first time. Did he, even though you never saw him before, did he know things about you that in a natural way a person could not know? He knew everything. He knew where I came from, what I was struggling with, what I needed to do for Avodah Hashem, what I needed to do uh, for my own growth, what I needed to work on, what I needed to correct, and where I'd been. Without you saying, without not you telling Not one word, him. not one word. And your wife felt the same way, no, obviously. hundred percent. I have sent many people to Rabbi Kimmel. No one has ever been disappointed. Uh, the only disappointment is they can't spend enough time with him.